Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video a couple of days ago about Windows 11 22H2 RTM that is getting closer, which is released to manufacturing, which means that this year's feature update for Windows 11 could be rolling out sooner than expected. Now, as I mentioned in that previous video, which I will leave a link to down below if you are interested, and as many of you do know, uh, the RTM builds are basically the final version of major Windows 11 releases or Windows releases and in this case this year's Windows 11 uh, 22H2 feature update which could be released in August or September uh, instead of October or November as um, previously expected with that RTM possibly uh, making its way uh, to release to manufacturing before the end of this month May uh, by the end of this month May 2022 now because of this um, there's a strong possibility that Microsoft could start testing next year's 2023 feature update for Windows 11 version 23H2 also sooner than expected. Now, as I've mentioned previously, the beta channel in the Insider program will, uh, and insiders in the beta channel will continue to test the features and aspects and get updates and fixes for this year's feature update 22H2. Um, we're heading to RTM shortly. Um, which means that the dev channel uh, could start testing features for next year's feature update version 23H2. Now, just on a side note, if you're unaware, the 22 and the 23 in the H2 stands for the year the update is rolling out, and the H2 means it's rolling out in the second half of the year. Now, as I've mentioned previously, um, aspects and features that are tested in the dev channel um, Microsoft does say um, they are not guaranteed um, to roll out to uh, any stable version of Windows 11 in the future and are not tied to any future release, which if we just head over to last week's preview build for both the dev and beta channels, 22616, which I did post on previously as well. Um, yeah, they make mention of that yeah, once again, if we go down to the bottom. The dev channel will be a place where we will try out different concepts, incubate new ideas and work on long lead items that may not get released to general customers. And they go on to say that the beta channel will be the place we preview experiences that are closer to what we will ship to our general customers. So just be aware of that. Now because uh, version 23H2, uh, which will be a whole new build and version, um, version 23H2, which will also mean the dev channel will be getting a whole new build as well uh, shortly. The, the dev channel will become quite unstable because a whole lot of the new features rolling out and you know um, just changes and aspects to the dev channel uh, for the Windows 11 operating system uh, will become very unstable. And um, this means that if you are still in the dev channel and don't want to be stuck on an unstable version, and build of Windows 11, you need to move to the beta channel as soon as possible, which Microsoft does make mention here yeah, of um, in their release notes window for switching from dev to channel to the beta channel is closing soon. And they also go on to say, uh, um, this window will, uh, will close once we release builds with higher build numbers uh, to the dev channel, which could uh, be happening sooner than later. Um, as they have said closing soon and then they give you the instructions on how to do that in case you're unaware and I will leave a link down below to these release notes if you are interested. Now um, as mentioned the uh, dev channel uh, could start testing version 23H2 or aspects um, for next year's 2023 feature update for Windows 11 earlier and um, as mentioned those initial builds um, will be quite unstable and quite buggy and at this stage though um, reports are suggesting that uh, there won't be actually too many new features that will be tested uh, when that new version and build rolls out to the dev channel shortly but it's mainly going to be uh, bug fixes for existing issues and then in the future as we progress Microsoft will start testing those new features and aspects of the Windows 11 operating system, which I have posted on a couple of those already on this channel, which we could expect to see roll out in next year's uh, 23H2 uh, and the second feature update rolling out next year in 2023 for Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.